Clearly, Donald Trump's legal woes are keeping him up at night. The former president, 77, went on a social media bender on Sunday, February 25th, into the early morning of Monday, February 26th. Just before midnight on Sunday, Trump, 77, told his Truth Social followers what he was tuning into. The Mark Levin show just showed how unconstitutional and unfair the NISAG case against me is. A total hoax, election interference at the highest level. Next showing 3 a.m. Eastern, on Fox News. He declared. Hours later, Trump, who is facing a total of 91 felony charges in federal and state trials, raged against all the cases being brought against him. The very strict rules and regulations of the Department of Injustice state clearly that you can't prosecute a political opponent, or anyone, right in the middle of his slash or campaign. Why didn't they bring these fake charges three years ago? That would have solved all of their problems. The answer is that they aimed for the various trials to come up during my campaign for president, 2024. This includes DOJ subservient subsidiaries like local DA and AG offices. In other words, all of these fake political prosecutions, persecutions, of crooked Joe Biden's political opponent must be immediately halted. He claimed. Manhattan State Court hush money criminal case involving Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal will start on March 25th. Trump's team fought to reschedule the trial, claiming it violated his rights. Trump's attorney Todd Blanche claimed since the ex-president's classified documents case starts in May, he would be unprepared if he were present for the NYC trial. That is a constitutional violation in our view, Judge, Blanche said. It's truly an impossible position for anyone to be in. As the court is aware, we are in the middle of primary season, Blanche did. The judge rejected the proposal. Trump, who allegedly had an affair with Daniels and paid her money to keep her quiet about their tryst before the 2016 election, may be in trouble if convicted in the case, an attorney claimed. Meanwhile, Trump has denied any wrongdoing. 